Phasmophobia is a unique and terrifying ghost hunting game and I genuinely enjoyed playing it. And here are the 10 things I wish to see in Phasmophobia. Without any further ado, let's get started. We all know a player can carry a maximum of 3 items. Now, instead of adding a feature where you can buy or upgrade your inventory from the shop, here's my idea. A handbag or a pouch is randomly placed inside the house just like a bone. If you can find it then you can carry 4 items instead of 3 for the rest of the mission. And yes in multiplayer all your teammates can carry an extra item. If it's too OP then the person finding the handbag can carry 4 items and the rest can only carry 3. I don't know about you guys but one of the first things I do when I enter the house is to look for the bone. And now you have more reason to explore the house and I don't think it's too OP to have an extra slot. So yeah, they should totally add this feature. If you don't know how the current insurance system works in Phasmophobia, well, basically 50% of your equipment cost is returned to you when you die in a mature mode and 25% of your equipment cost is returned to you when you die in intermediate mode and you get nothing in professional or nightmare. It really sucks because the equipment costs like $1500 and even if you get a perfect game, you only get like what, 400 or 500 bucks? So here's my proposal. You can take an insurance before you start the mission and if you die, all your equipment cost is returned to you and you lose the insurance amount. If you survive, obviously your equipment is safe and you lose like 20% of your insurance money. Let's take an example to demonstrate this better. Let's say I brought $2000 worth of equipment and for that I took $500 insurance. Now if I die then all the equipment cost is returned to me which is $2000 and I lose the insurance amount which is $500. Now if I survive obviously I don't lose my equipment but I lose 20% of my insurance which is $100. I think this is a great feature because you don't know whether you're gonna survive or not and it's totally okay to lose $500 instead of $2000. What do you guys think? I think this is a great feature. If it's too OP, then the developers can always tweak the numbers. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. This is kind of similar to the first idea where you can find random equipment in the house, like an extra smudge, extra lighter, or crucifix, etc. You can only find a maximum of two items and they are random. So I don't think it's game breaking and also gives you that extra incentive to explore the house. Relax guys, I'm not saying you have to find the key to open a locker, then only you can hide. No, that would be ridiculous. In fact, we're not changing the current hiding spot system at all. Then what is locker keys? Well, we all know that in single player you can only get one or maybe two hiding spots in nightmare mode, right? This is where my locker keys idea comes into place. You can find the key to the locker or closet which is randomly placed in the house. Once you find it, you can unlock one additional locker or closet and that hiding spot is available for the rest of the mission. This is especially useful in edge field map because if you don't have garage lockers and the ghost starts hunting from the hallway, then you have nowhere to hide. Of course, you only get one key and you have to choose which locker you want to open. I don't think it's too OP to have an extra hiding spot. I mean, you still have to find the key, right? So yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. As of now, if you want to know how much sanity you have, the only way of knowing the exact number is by looking in the van. But with the new item, the sanity checker, you can check your sanity anywhere in the map and anytime you want. This is such a useful item. You can check your sanity to make sure you're not in hunting range. And you can look for ghost abilities. For example, Poltergeist can reduce 2% of your sanity for every throw. And the Jinn can reduce 25% of your sanity by doing nothing. So yeah, super useful. We all love tag cards. And let's add one more card, shall we? And that is Evidence Card, which has 10% chance to draw and gives you one of the three evidences. And of course, it won't give you the third evidence in Nightmare Mode. But it can give you one of the two evidences. I mean, you're gonna get the evidences anyway. So I don't think this is game breaking. And it might help you finding the second evidence in nightmare mode, which is sometimes really hard to get. Okay, this is a wild one. 
We all know how boring it is to walk back and forth from ghost room to the van to get equipment, right? What if you can set up a portal in the house and let's say it takes 10 seconds to teleport a player to the van and you can grab the equipment you need and teleport back. This is especially useful in large maps like Asylum. And of course you can't use the teleport option while the ghost is hunting. And also it kind of defeats the purpose of large map. I mean you still have to set it up right which means you have to explore the map to find the ghost room. Yeah, I don't think they will add this, but it would be kind of cool if they can do something similar to this. Maybe add a cooldown or something. Or maybe you can only use like two or three times. Okay, honestly, I don't understand why this feature is not in the game. In multiplayer, if the person who brought the equipment dies, well, he loses all the equipment, even if all the other teammates survive, which doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, in single player, if you die, you lose everything because there is no one to drive the truck back, which makes sense. But in multiplayer, your teammates can still drive the van and escape from the house. They can bring all your equipment, right? So yeah, it only makes sense to lose everything if all four players die. Otherwise, you shouldn't lose anything. It totally makes sense in my opinion. And what do you guys think? As far as I know, you cannot die in training mode which allows players to roam around the house and look for the hiding spots and get familiar with the map before you play for real. I am pretty sure you can only do that for Tanglewood and I wish they add training to all the maps. I remember playing Pleasedale map for the first time and I have no clue where the hiding spots are and I would die over and over. I guess you can carry the candle and walk around the house and you would never die. But it's not the same if you know for sure there is no ghost in the house and you would feel much better. So I wish they add this to the game. Okay, last but not least, let's talk about the two new ghost types that I came up with which are Cursed Oni and Cursed Shade. Let's talk about the Cursed Oni first. As long as you don't trigger a Cursed Hunt, the Cursed Oni is basically like a shade. It won't be active and it won't hunt you until like 20% sanity and it is super slow. But once you trigger the cursed hunt, then the cursed Oni becomes super active and can early hunt and also becomes super fast. Cursed Shade however is the opposite of cursed Oni and it is super active and super fast in the beginning of the investigation and once you trigger the cursed hunt, the cursed Shade will become, well, a shade and less active and slow. I think it's a pretty cool idea. What do you guys think? Alright, these are the 10 things I wish to see in Phasmophobia. Let me know in the comments what is the one feature you want to see added to the game and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, show me some love. Please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to leave the like and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.